Hello friends, this video on decimals part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now let's look at the vice versa situation. How do we write fractions as decimal? So decimal to fraction we already saw, but fraction to decimal, let's have a look. So here it is 11 by 10. So how will you write it in the form of decimal? So you see 11 can be written as 10 plus 1. So 10 plus 1 divided by 10. So this is the same thing as 11 by 10. Now this can be written as 10 by 10 plus 1 by 10. You remember how do we add fractions? Like we keep the denominator as it is and we add the numerator. So you see we are using the same concepts. So if you have written 10 plus 1 by 10, that means that actually means it is 10 by 10 plus 1 by 10. Okay, now 10 by 10 is 1 because they divide each other completely. And what about 1 by 10? 1 by 10 is 0 0.1. You remember in the previous slide what we learned? Anything divided by 10, 100, 1000 that, is, that actually represents a decimal number. Now you have only one zero, so you have put the decimal point in such a way that there is only one digit after the decimal point. So 1 by 10 can be written as 0 0.1. So 1 plus 0 0.1 is 1.1. So we have successfully converted a fraction into decimal. Now let's look at few more examples. Here we have 2 by 5. So how do we handle 2 by 5? Now whenever you have divide by 10, your job becomes easier because you see here 1 by 10 was very quickly written as 0 0.1. But when you have something else as the denominator, then it becomes a little different. So here the denominator is 5. So what is our aim now? We have to make equivalent fraction of 2 by 5 such that the denominator is 10 because only when the denominator is 10 we can very easily write it in the form of decimals. So you are given 2 by 5. What can you do or what is that number which you multiply to the numerator and denominator such that the result of the denominator has 10? So 2. So if you multiply the numerator and denominator by 2, you get a 10 in the denominator. And in the numerator, you have 4 by 10. So what is 4 by 10? 4 by 10 is nothing but 0 0.4 because you have 1 0 in the denominator. So after the decimal point, you have just one digit. So you have written a 2 by 5 can be written as 0 0.4. Let's look at another example 9 by 2. So in case of 9 by 2 also we want the denominator to become 10. So what is that number which when multiplied by 2 gives 10? It's 5. So we also multiply the numerator by 5. So it is 45 by 10. So 45 by 10 means 4.5. So we have converted 9 by 2 into the decimal form that is 4.5. So in this fashion, we can convert the fractions into decimals. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.